Right, thanks for joining me once again. Today we have these, which are outdoor mounts. Kind of security, kind of not, because they're so easy to take off. But yeah, we shall see. There's the information. Now, this is just purely an unboxing. Well, I'm actually going to connect it to a camera here just to see what it looks like. But this is an unboxing, it is not a review. Just so people know. This is the VMA 4000B. As it says there. <coughs> now this isn't quite like a other mounts where they are more secure because you can tighten up another screw to hold it in place. These, another alarm in the bottom there. It's very bizarre because you seem to get those on the accessories but not on the um, main camera. Or at least not that I've noticed. Another window sticker. This is a pack of two with some fixings, two packs of fixings. Those screws look very small for those wall plugs or roll plugs. Declaration of conformity. No idea what this is. Warranty. Don't think I really need that. And this tells you what to do. See, this is why I don't really class it as a security mount as such, but it's more secure than the magnet mount because this one you have to twist slightly. But yeah, stick that bit onto your wall or fence or excuse me, that, wherever you're going to fix it, and then you screw that part onto it which literally I can only imagine is the smallest amount of screw twist that you need to, to do. So let's see. Wow. They're plastic. I thought they were metal. Or at least so far it feels like plastic. Yep, that is plastic. That's how straightforward it is. That's what they look like. That. And one little twist there. I think it does twist a little bit more. Because if you can see there, it's not closed up. And that would just lock it into place. Ah, yes. I can see ball bearings, I think. No, I can't. thought I saw ball bearings. It's not. It's the screws. Duh. Um. Oh, jeez. Now, there's not a lot of videos about this. So my one concern was, how does that hold secure? And I can honestly say, that is one tight ball. <laughs> that is tight. So that is perfect. It's perfect for what? Up, down, left, right. So let's pop that bit there again. And then bring in the camera. It's an old camera. A bit mankier. Screw into there. And there you go. You can move it down. Hold it in place. Push it up. You don't want to force it too quickly. because I... Ah, that's rubberized. Hmm. It's very strong friction fit. 
Yeah. Quite good. Um, now, with these though, they are way overpriced. At the moment, you can get them on Amazon for around £25 for the two. Um, a lot of places sell them for nearer 40 from time to time. Um, no way near worth that price at all, by any stretch. You can get a couple of the arm mounts for, say, £20, something like that. Or you can buy knockoff ones on eBay for less than £10. These, I'm surprised nobody's come up with a knockoff version of these, but maybe they can't get them right. It's a shame there isn't a little lock-off piece there, similar to the arm mounts, so you could just make it a little bit more secure, um, and possibly a screw in here to lock it into the actual base plate. That would have been perfect. I wonder if I can actually do that myself after. Hmm. It's always an idea there. See, if you had to screw like that up and put it into there, it screwed into that plastic piece there, that would lock that, so that's secure. Huh. I have an idea now. I might do that. Um, for security purposes, but yeah, two of those fixings and some literature. Hopefully, this has been a helpful video for you if you've been looking into getting these and just couldn't find anything on YouTube. Um, they are good; they are strong, from what I can gather so far. So, go for it if you can get them cheap as, as well. Please hit subscribe, thumbs up, comment below, and join me next time for something else. Bye for now.